This fuss isn't all about Australia. The United Nations boss is in town for a forum that aims to bridge gaps and promote cooperation between countries and cultures. An apt backdrop for Australia and Indonesia to patch things up on the sidelines. In November last year, when leaked documents revealed that in 2009 Australia had spied on the President, his wife and his closest confidants, Tony Abbott initially refused to give a response. Australia shouldn't be expected to detail what we do to protect our country. President Udiono took that as an affront to the friendship and suspended cooperation on military exercises, intelligence sharing and stopping people smuggling. He demanded a response and a pledge not to do it again. Nine months on, he's watching over a rebirth in the relationship. It provides, importantly, a basis to enhance intelligence cooperation between... And Indonesian agencies. The new document is an attachment to the existing Lombok Treaty. It adds just two new points, ensuring that neither country would use spying operations or any other resources in a way that would harm the other, and instead, intelligence sharing will be enhanced. The wording doesn't specifically ban spying on each other, but Indonesia's taking it to mean that. It is a very inclusive a very exhaustive even uh, list because uh, it's make a reference to other resources as well. He says it's more than words but about intention and trust returning. George Roberts, ABC News, Bali.